Hey everyone, how's it going? Back with another Evil Dead stream. This will probably be a short-ish stream, or maybe about as long as my stream yesterday. What I'm planning on doing here is I'm planning on playing maybe each of the demons once. I might skip Pup since uh, I played Puppeteer yesterday, all day yesterday. And I might skip Plaguebringer because I am awful with Plaguebringer. I've tried playing her a few times, and I win, I've only won like twice with her, and I've played like maybe five or six games, so I might skip Plague Bringer, so I guess I might do a, a Bill match, a Warlord match, and a Necromancer match, that's probably all I'll have time for, quite honestly, but we'll see how it goes. I do not plan on winning, especially the Warlord or the Necromancer match. Well, they're, they're in the, the Necromancer, it depends what group of survivors I get. If I get some new survivors that don't go for the Flutist right away, then I might win. Or if I get lucky with RNG and the objectives are close to some places where I can put the Flutist down. You know, in like some buildings or something, I might get lucky. But honestly, I might lose with Bill too. I haven't played as Bill since I hit him pretty hardcore when he first came out. But he's kind of been nerfed a little bit since. And I actually changed up my build a little bit. I was still using the Peekaboo build with Bill, where you could pretty much go into Peekaboo grab a survivor that was by themselves and then go right back into peekaboo but uh, Bill's pretty weak so I decided to change up my build a little bit to focus more on the basics and the elite units the only downside to Bill is his units attack super slow so they're usually pretty easy to dodge especially you know against players who know we're familiar, familiar with his units and know how to play better. We shall see. Like I said, I'll probably do a Bill match, a Warlord match, and then finish off with a Necro match. And let's see if I lose all three. <laughs> let's see if I lose one of the three, two of the three. We shall see. Like I said, I probably won't play Pup since I played Pup all day yesterday. And then I probably won't play Plague Bringer because the few times I've played Plague Bringer, I'm just not really too familiar with her playstyle, I guess. Oof. Three PC people. Gotta be careful with PC people. They could be hack sores. Alright, I guess we'll start off as Bill. I see you've met my spawn. Time for Daddy to take over. And I guess if I have time after playing those three matches, I might play a pup match. Or if like I get just completely steamrolled playing either Bill, Warlord, or Necro, maybe I'll play another one of those matches that I got steamrolled on. Or if I have a pretty good time as like Warlord or Necro or something, maybe I'll play an extra one after I play those three. We shall. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, someone backed out, huh? Alright. Why the heck did it switch to Henrietta? Yeah, I mean, I'm not really going to sweat it out too bad. I'll probably make plenty of mistakes, especially playing as Warlord and Necro, because I haven't played as played as them in a very long time. Uh, Warlord was my first main. If, like, you go back and watch my original streams when I first got this game, I actually got this game a day early. It came out on Friday the 13th, and I actually got it on Thursday the 12th. And if you go back and watch those streams, which... You can find on my YouTube channel, Bloody the Sky. <laughs> YouTube plug. Uh, I think I played Warlord all the first day. I think I might have played one Necro game, but I think I played Warlord all that day. 
Well, at least I don't have to worry about the three PC people now. I just got one PC person, which still could be a hacksaw, but hopefully not. Well, like I said, I guess we'll start with Bill. And um, I don't have any demons prestige, but yeah, like I said, back when I first started playing this game, Warlord was my main. Uh, someone quit again. Usually, I've been noticing that survivors do that if like there's a low level survivor with them, if like they're especially if they're in solo queue. If they see that someone's like just a level one or level five, level ten, they'll leave because they don't want to play with a newbie. Now, now I don't have to worry about hackers. I've <laughs> got three PS persons and a Xbox person, so. So that means no excuses if I lose. Well, no easy excuses, anyways. I can say, oh, they abused cars, or oh, they were a four man squad, or oh, and whatever else. But eh, like I said, I, I'm not gonna really gonna sweat this stream because I just want to play all the demons. It's been so long since I played Warlord and Necro, so I just want to try them out. It's been longer since I played Necro than it has been Warlord. I played a Warlord game when I first came back to this game a couple months ago, back before they added Bill. I was playing it. And I was mostly playing Puppeteer back then, but I did play a Warlord game, but I didn't play a Necromancer game, so... Just Necromancer, I really like it. It's just, man, you gotta get lucky with the Flutist. You gotta either hope that you get good positions to place it, or that that the survivors don't beeline for it right away. I come to you in the form of Linda, the savior's lost love. Okay. Join us, and we will crush the mortals. Where last should we stand. begin? Should we go down to the mama mama's liquors first? Trap along the way. Portions of the map lie hidden in the vicinity. Slaughter the humans who seek these pieces, and do it fast. I always have a hard time when I play Bill to go back to the other demons because I got that talent that makes makes you trap stuff faster, and it feels like you trap stuff so much slower with the other demons. Speaking of traps, I'm close to dead end. Let's just trap dead end real fast. That's usually a decent tactic because sometimes even if there's not a map piece at dead end, usually they'll come here. Anyways. I hear a chest, is it? There it is. If this, you know, if the squad's really a loot based squad, if they're like really wanting to loot, they'll usually come to dead end, even if there's not a map piece here. But speaking of, let me. Just let me circle around, see if there is a map piece here. You can usually tell from the outside of the buildings. It doesn't look like one's here at the moment. After they find the first map piece, though, it could pop up here, though. We'll see. Should I hit my ability? I guess. Sometimes it's hitting ability is not the greatest here because some, a lot of the traps are inside. The living have claimed a piece of the map. Are you toying with them, or merely incompetent? Alright, well they found the first piece, so... Now let's see if there's a map piece here. I hear another chest. Alright, alright. Is there two of them? Yeah, there sure is. Come on, let me loot the ch- there we go. <laughs> I hate when it does that. It's like, let me trap the chest. Speaking of traps. Oh, the daggers are here. I just now noticed that, so no. A map piece is probably not going to spawn here. See, this would have been a decent map to get- to play Necro on, because the map- or the pages are right there, or the daggers, whichever. Daggers. So I could have put the um, flute just in one of these buildings while they were trying to get the daggers. Come on. 
Alright, well, I guess kind of looted this, or trapped this the most I can. Let's go back to... If they started at Mama's Liquors, they're probably not there anymore. Oh, someone's making noise or something, huh? No, I don't have enough infernal energy. Well, how about that? How about that? Our enemies have obtained another piece of the map. Use their fear to turn them against each other. I just now noticed that only one person on this is prestiged, so... I mean, that doesn't mean anything. They could just be playing characters that they haven't prestiged yet. Or it could mean that they're newer players. We shall see what it is. If it's newer players, I usually tend to not bully them. Like, if I find that they're having trouble with my possessed units. A machine gun? Well, I got pretty good hits on that, Scotty. I'll just put a point in a elite so I have it. Need to get some energy. someone else tries to come down and get that. Uh, it doesn't look like they're bothering. Oh. I was put that I put that proxy portal there hoping that the, someone else would come. He doesn't have a gun yet. It's me, Ash. I'm here to save the world. <laughs> shot me out. Nice. I really, honestly, I really don't like possessing people with um, Bill, even though I know that's kind of what he's strong at, because he builds a, a, a survivor sphere so high. But, man, like, I don't know what it is with Bill, but you get knocked out of possession so dang fast with Bill. So all it usually takes is one shot. I mean, it seems like it's... I know it can be fast with any character. Especially if they headshot you. But, man, it's just something about Bill. I need to go get some Infernal Energy. Want to buy Infernal Energy? 50 gold, our best offer. OBO. Well, this is where that ash went. I was wondering. Oh, he's going to go get the map. Now know the location of the lost pages and Kandarian dagger. You disappointed us. Don't do it again. I saw this one. I hear a chest. Where's that chest at?
Got him pretty weak. And there he goes. This is why you do not run off your own against Bill. Just don't do it, people. Did it not pick up that orb? Come on now. I got him. <laughs> oh wow, I did not know I got five points to spend here. I guess because that guy died. really I won't be able to stop the revive so I don't even have enough at least I can waste some of this ammo hey how's it going gutter snipe good to see you good to see you I'll let him get the revive off not really much I can do I don't have enough energy to like really hold them all. I don't have demon power. I don't have the demon dash. Oh, uh, they already revived them. Oh, uh, someone else revived them? I thought one of these people had his soul. I guess not. How about that? I didn't want him, sh that hunter ash could have easily got me out by shooting me once, so I wasn't too worried about that. Oh, a car. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> I didn't have enough infernal energy. What the heck happened there? <laughs> well, I was, they didn't need me to destroy it, they destroyed it themselves. Why did it dodge? That was weird. Dodged forward. Oh, I only got one of them. Oh well. Our the location of the Kandarian dagger. Perhaps we exterminate them. Probably focus on the hunter. On honestly. I was hoping I'd be able to get another hit on. Ah, crap. I did not want to possess him, I wanted to possess the warrior Ash here. The Army of Darkness Ash. Okay, I did not want to possess this either, but whatever.
I only got one of them down, but the daggers are almost done, so I won't be able to really capitalize off this. Yeah. That hunter Ash, I was gonna, I was gonna possess him, but he ran off, I guess, to find more ammo. I really don't know what he was doing. Ah, oh, dang, that sucks. Gotta snipe. I hate two things. That's brutal. Sorry to hear about that. Usually, pain relievers just don't even do anything. For those either, toothaches and backaches are like the two things that pain relievers tend to do nothing for. I mean, even those pills that say, "Oh, we specific," you know, we um, specialize in back pain. It's like, sure, depends what kind of back pain it is. If it's like nerve back pain, then huh, no. I just wanted to waste his time, quite honestly. Ah, nice. Like I said, I've always hated that whole let me dodge into you and still not take... See, he's, he's literally going nowhere. And he's still not taking damage. It's the only annoying thing I don't like about dodges in this game. I don't want to die. They're a little too forgiving, in my opinion. Uh, I tell you. Did that guy really just one shot kill my unit that popped out? That sucks. Ah. I did not mean to possess this evil unit, or this elite. But maybe it'll work out, we'll see. Oh, ran out of energy. <laughs> I don't even know where the altar was. I see it now. I did not mean to put it down that far. <laughs> the hell? Did he knock me out of it even though he shot it past me?
I need to find more energy, man. I hate when the games that, like, feel like you cannot find enough energy. Let me dodge into you and not take damage even though I'm technically dodging into your swing. I can't stand <laughs> It's one thing that's so weird to me in this game. The lost pages of the Necronomicon have now been found. Consume the humans before they harness the book's power. Mm, I don't know if I should depossess there. Oh, uh, well, I, I doubt I'll be able to get him down. Nice. See, while this guy's doing this, that guy's down there solo capping, but... But, uh, I could, he's high enough fear, oh no wait, now he's not, dang it. He was high enough fear where I could have possessed him. Okay, now. Yep, button mashing for the wind, sleepster. I wanted to pull his weapon out, what the hell? I should have stayed on that hunter, Ash, honestly, because he's about to revive the other two, but... The thing is, is, um... Dang, I don't have enough energy, of course. The humans if that guy would have capped that pages, point... We will gather to defend them. Take them all out at once! He, he would revive them anyway. Nice. Alright, well, now he has no choice. He either has to get off the point... And come help. You gotta get up and hold it together. I'm not true. You're gonna get better. You get a disgusting bit. Are you just gonna run from me? Is that what we're doing here? Those aren't the rails that you can spam, buddy. You want the rails that's by the housing. Not these. I can break these, buddy. Get in that car. Okay, or not. <laughs> uh, yeah, gutter snipe. Um, yeah, I hear you. I know some people jokingly tell me, you know what stuff's a toothache? Alcohol. You know, and I'm like, I have it. I don't get, I don't like getting drunk, so. How pitiful. Our victory was never in doubt. Well, that bill match went better than I was expecting, but to be fair, only one of those people were prestige, and the one was just a prestige one, so... I don't think those other people were new, though. They weren't playing, like, complete newbies, but... It's, you know, that's probably why I had an easier time with it. Alright, so there was my Bill match. Bill was a win, which isn't really too surprising. Bill's pretty strong, especially against solo Q people. Now, if that was a coordinated team, you know, a four-man, that would have been a different story, probably. Bill's pretty rough against four-man teams. I mean, every demon's <laughs> rough against four-man teams, but at least, like Pup, you got a chance to destroy the book against a four-man team, unless... They know how to counter that, of course, if they know how to body block and have high balance bar damaging weapons, then yeah, they'll, you'll still get steamrolled. So, next up will be a Warlord match. I did a Bill match, so Warlord match, I'm, the Warlord match is probably not going to go the same way. I bet you I'm going to lose both the Warlord and the Necromancer matches, but we shall see. 
It really depends on the survivors I fight, quite honestly. But I haven't played Warlord or Necro in quite a while, so I'm rusty with those. I actually had to change my builds up on both of them. So we shall see. Warlord used to be on my main. If you look at my... The first few days I played this game, I think I was playing nothing but Warlord. And then my main and became Necro after that. I did a lot of Necromancer. And then it became Pup. And then it's pretty much stayed Puppeteer until, um... Until Bill came out. And then I played a lot of Bill, of course. Might as well. I bought them, so I might as well use them, right? And then, uh... Now, I don't know who I'd say my main is. I guess Pup again? Because I like to chill with Puppeteer. I like to uh, spawn a elite unit and then take it somewhere kind of hidden off. Whether it be in a building or just somewhere close by. And just spawn clones and do the lightning spam. Which, believe it or not, is actually quite effective. Like, I mean, it's not going to be effective against a super good team. Because they'll just dodge the lightnings every time. But if you spawn enough clones and they're doing the lightning attack as well then it could be pretty effective. Like that one team I fought yesterday, that I'm pretty sure was at least a three-man squad. They could have been a four-man, but I think they were a three-man squad. I don't think that Brock was with them, but I could have been wrong. Um, the time I got them the weakest was when I hid with my Puppeteer Elite and was spamming clones and Thundershock, or whatever the hell it's called. Thundershock, Thunder, Thunderstruck, ACDC. I don't know what it's called. But... Something like that. And that's when I got them the weakest. Is when I was doing that. And then they found me and deleted me. <laughs> so, that's a pretty decent strat. Even though, it's, I think it's a chill strat, you know. It shows that you're not really super tryharding, you know. I'm, I'm just sitting back shocking you guys, I don't care. Do you not find me beautiful? Like I said, I don't plan on winning with Warlord here, but let's play one for old timey's sakes. Let's uh, let's fart on some people and make them motorboat us. I don't know. Enrita's grab is not that good. I mean, it's all right, but eh, it's not as good as her fart and her belly flop or whatever. It's <laughs> with Warlord. You kind of got to hope to get lucky, sort of, I guess you'd say. Because you kind of hope, you got to hope that your AI basics puke on the survivors on the, when they're not expecting it, like behind when they get them in the back. And then get you a few free hits because they can't dodge. So, stuff like that is what where Warlord shines if you get lucky with stuff like that. You know, watch some Evil Dead later. Nice. What you will did you gonna watch the first one or the reboot? Uh, then I don't think the newest one's on DVD or streaming yet. I heard it was pretty good. I heard that newest one was pretty good. What? This has been happening a lot this this morning. A lot of people backing out. I'm thinking it's either survivors seeing that there's like a low level on their team, a low level or a non prestige and they're like, screw this, I'm not going to play with a noob, you know, and they leave. Or it's maybe people picking the other people's class that they want to play. That used to happen a lot when this game first came out. Everyone wanted to be like, everyone either wanted to be like Kelly or Hunter Ash, or Army of Darkness Ash. Mo mainly, mostly people wanted to be Army of Darkness Ash. So if someone joined and picked Army of Darkness Ash right away, and other people wanted to be Army of Darkness Ash, they would freaking leave. And it's like, really, people? <laughs> Come on now. Army of Darkness Ash was pretty dang powerful when, the first, when this game first came out. Yeah, the 80s first one. Uh, it had its moments. Like, I, but then again with me, I was going in expecting it was going to be awful. Like, I, my friend brought it over to watch. Like, I didn't even want to buy it. I didn't even want to buy it. I didn't even want to watch it. I didn't even nothing. Like, I thought it was going to be terrible. Uh, but my friend brought it over, and he's like, come on, let's watch it. I'm like, ah, fine, you know. So, we watched it, and it actually wasn't too bad, I thought. 
But then again, like I said, I wasn't expecting it. It was just going to be terrible. So maybe that's why I didn't think it was too bad. Usually when you go in expecting something's going to be just downright awful, usually it turns out not to be so bad, whether that be a video game or a movie, TV show. And seriously, people... Uh, because I think it's just you go in with such low standards <laughs> you think it's gonna be complete dog crap and then you actually play it or watch it and you go hey uh, uh, this ain't this ain't it's terrible oh yeah the carry yeah that carrier make was pretty good I'm gonna hurt those dirty birds. two PC people Gotta watch out for um, hack sores. Like I said, I fully plan to not win here <laughs> with Warlord. But we'll, we'll see, I guess. Could be surprising. I know some people say her book game is pretty good, but I think they nerfed her book damage so I don't I think I mean I think you still can win a book of course but you gotta get lucky like you have to have one or two people dead already or you have to have people not just headshotting your units with a hunter honestly when I used to play survivor I thought warlords units were the easiest to headshot this uh, you know, other than the Necromancer elites, I thought Warlord's units were the easiest to get headshots on. The, the elites and the basics. Where oh. comes the dweller in the dark bowers of man's domain? Did you ever see a movie Our called Car? Come to claim their world. I don't think so. Uh, where would they maybe be? Maybe at Henry's houses? A group of the living seek pieces of a map to the lost pages of the Necronomicon and the Kandarian Dagger. Although I did used to watch a movie when I was younger called Maximal Overdrive. And it's where, like, vehicles... It was mostly semi-trucks and, like, diesel vehicles. Like, I want to say a tractor. But they were, like, getting possessed by some evil entity or something. I remember I, I both liked that movie as a kid, but it also freaked me the hell out. <laughs> Especially the semi-truck that was like the leader, and it had like the clown face on the front. I remember that truck freaked me the hell out. See, placing these traps just feels so slow when you're not, Bill. Is this the map with Dead End again? It sure the hell is. permitted the living to collect a fragment of the map. In the future, we would prefer that you mutilate them. Yes. Belittle me, Mama Linda. Honestly, that bill match was pretty fun. Oh, they're coming to dead end. That either means that the map piece is here, or they're coming here to loot. Or both. I mean, they could be here for both reasons. I'm not seeing a map piece yet. I hear a chest though. Is it upstairs or it sounds like it's over here? Yeah. I used to do nothing but mini ashes because mini ashes can take shimps and amulets, but that's pretty rare. And it feels like it's gotten even rarer. Now they'll just take like long gun ammo and crap. They took three long gun ammo. Oh no, how however will I survive? Yeah, that bill match is pretty fun. I might play another bill match if I after my Warlord match. It was a rip of that rip off of that Stephen King movie? Oh. What are they doing? They're like, hey, we're gonna come loot dead end. No, no, we're not. Oh, yes, we are. Uh, no, no, we're not. I am so confused. The humans have another piece of the map. I can... You had one job. I highly doubt I'm gonna be able to get anything going here. 
Ah, uh, she activated her ability, but... See, like, I honestly think she should not be... Not be immune to damage dodging nowhere like that. That's just me, though. I mean, she's literally not moving. But she's still not taking damage. That's one balance thing I think they need to change, but... I mean, I don't... Like, when I play Survivor, I try to make sure I dodge somewhere, not just in the same spot. But then again, it just feels weird when I dodge nowhere and I, I'm immune to damage, because I'm like, shouldn't I have been hit there? It just feels dirty. And I like feeling dirty. I mean, what? The hell is that noise? I never noticed that before. Is it? What the heck? Was, what was that noise? I thought it was like a unit trapped in like the golf cart. Not the golf cart, but the mining cart or something. I need damn energy. The mortal fools now hold the complete map to the locations of the lost pages and Kandarian dagger. Try harder. Why can't I go down these stairs? That is weird as fuck. Oh. Okay. I just couldn't go down on my aiming? Let's <laughs> waste your ammo, might as well. And it hurts her as well, so. She went and got all the map pieces, pretty much, so everyone else probably looted. So that ruby is probably freaking full up on pink F and crap. So her ore is probably very strong. But I felt like there was nothing I could really do against that Kelly because I didn't have energy to do anything. I thought she was maybe going to go for the daggers. Hmm. I really don't know if it's worth chasing this Kelly around, quite honestly, because she can just dodge into oblivion. And, you know, she has her power as unlimited dodges. But I can make her waste a little bit of health here. And waste her ammo, of course. Oh, they're looting at dead ends. Crap. And now they're in a car. Well, I made her use a shimps, but I bet you all these people have been looting dead ends to have a crap ton of shimps. Yep, she activate her ability and is dodging nowhere. <laughs> oh, I just got the ruby. I was hoping to get the Kelly too. And drive away in a car. Come on, guys, you're fighting a warlord. Y'all don't have to be super sweaty. <laughs> Just saying. Now, if y'all are fighting Bill, I'd be, I'd be getting this strategy of rushing and one person rush to get the map piece and all the other people loot and then drive away in a car. 
But it's a warlord. Come on now. The humans have located the Kandarian dagger. Stop them before they take it. I did not mean to. I honestly did not mean to possess the Ruby. I wanted to possess the Kelly. But. Eh, it works. Gather around the light. I want everyone to play inside. Uh, I gotta go get those people off the daggers. I thought he was able to be possessed, but I guess not. I thought the radius to that was a lot better. Again, dodging nowhere and not taking damage. McDonald's, up, 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 I'm loving it. Uh, it's kind of risky to uh, spawn the boss because. Because it's only level one, and it's going to give them a free cola. Uh, that only scared the ash. Ah, uh, what? They balance? Did my puke not hit anybody before my balance bar? Ah, oh, crap. I didn't know that it was that close to being done. What are you going to do about it? Hmm. No, damn it. I wanted to put it in boss, not demon powers. Yeah, I knew a Warlord game was probably going to be a loss. I mean, they're they're playing me like it's a freaking bow or something. They're rushing pretty hard. If I was if I was Bill, I would maybe have it and they're using two cars. Yeah, they're treating me like I'm some sort of Bill or something. Or I'm some sort of P Prestige 5 Warlord or something. I mean, come the hell off. Multiple cars? Wow. Okay, take me out instantly. So I can't even stop them from driving that car. And I need energy. Did you ever see that Maximum Overdrive movie, Sleepster? With the semi trucks going crazy? Like I said, I think it was all like diesel vehicles, if I remember right, because I think a tractor got possessed too. Uh, let me just, I guess, let me just go. Um. Trap up here, you haven't seen it? Uh, it's a pretty old movie. I think it's called Maximum Overdrive. Has a pretty good soundtrack, though. Are they looting or are they. They're looting, aren't they? Really? Again, I'm not Bill. What are y'all doing? Hey, we're fighting a non prestige warlord. Let's, uh. Let's play Super Sweaty. What? I don't know 
if they'll be going into the houses or not. Now I need more energy to put another proximity portal down. Now they're back in the vehicle after they looted that house. Like I said, that's kind of a weird tactic to use against me, a non prestige warlord who's just playing it for the fun of it. Wow, dude. <laughs> that's crazy. Or do they come in here to loot too? Freaking energy to possess him. Hey, I got it down. I got a death. <laughs> what? I hate when this game does that. But she should have not got that resurrect off. Damn. Now she's just gonna dodge me till the pages are done. Yep. That's it. The humans are in possession of the lost pages. You let this happen. Honestly, I'm surprised I haven't got any <laughs> towns and gills. Kandari and Dagger and lost pages have been taken. The humans' next target will be the Dark Ones. The Hellraiser's move wasn't bad, yeah. I think that's another licensed killer that they have in Dead by Daylight. Dead by Daylight has a lot of licensed killers. Now they're gonna loot again.
And they're finding colas pretty... I heard at least two colas get taken right there. I wish I could find two colas. <laughs> a lot of times when I play Survivor, like, everywhere that there's usually colas, I cannot find them for nothing. Follow the road. Huh. They're not at the dark ones yet. Oh, it doesn't look like it. I know I'm not gonna hit him from this far. I'm just wasting his ammo. Oh, someone snook up on me. Where was that? Where did that come from? Is that Pablo? If they get too crazy with the looting, I might be able to. I might be able to take them out into the fog. Where? Uh, dang it! I don't have no energy. <laughs> I was like, why can't I trap that? That's good. Keep moving. You're okay. Good then, don't have energy. I was like, why can't I possess them? I hate when I forget to go grab some energies. Getting there. <laughs> Did I hear him pick up another cola? She dropped her melee weapon? Or not our melee weapon, but our ranged weapon? That sucks. Like I said, they're playing pretty sweaty for uh, fighting a non-prestige warlord. And they're invincible because cutscene... Uh, I was hoping to kill that Pablo before they were able to drink off because that would have been one less person to deal with at the book. I think I'm gonna get the book. I wanted to possess the elite, but okay. Oh, 
Well, maybe I'll get the book. I don't think I will, but maybe. I get it. Well, I get it. 24, 20 seconds left. Oh. Uh, eight seconds left. No, not them. The book. Dang it. I was pretty close. For a non-prestiged warlord, I did a lot better than I should have. Especially since I kept stop. Wait, I did destroy the book? Oh, wow. <laughs> I thought that the book was uh, closing out. The light of humanity has been wow. I honestly did Dragons not expect to win that. For all eternity. A non prestiged warlord, I did a lot, like I said, I did a lot better than I should. Especially against a prestige 5, a prestige. No, wait, that's two prestige 3s, a prestige 2. A prestige one. Eh. See, I haven't even played. I've played. I've won four games as Warlord. Shows you how little I've played Warlord since they've added the prestige challenges. So, I'm shocked. I'm shocked I won that. I thought I lost it, honestly. <laughs> because the. Um, I thought this it was showing the screen. The, um, the scene for the book. Going back to hell. That's what I thought it was showing. I didn't know it was showing the scene for destruction. I was so caught up in emotion. <laughs> I thought I was seeing the lose scene, not the um, not the win scene. The lose scene. It's not like a cutscene, isn't it? It's, it just shows it noving, right? I don't know. I can't remember. I, I'm. <laughs> My emotions are too high right now. Alright, so that was... We did a bill match and won. Won before even book phase. Then we did a warlord match and won a book. Uh, I played Puppeteer all day yesterday. So let's do a Necromancer game that I'm sure I'm going to lose. But then again, I was sure I was going to lose with Warlord. But here's the thing with the Necromancer, though. His... Pretty much... His damage comes... From the flutist and if you don't have good places to put the flute you lose like it's pretty much a GG so and also if they go for the flute like right off the bat if the flute only survives for like five seconds <laughs> you wanna... so we'll see if I'm fighting survivors that don't go for the flute right away then I might win But yeah, see, none of my, none of my demons are prestige. They're all level forty-five, but none of them are prestiged. Closest ones I think I got to prestige are Bill and Puppeteer. Warlord, I don't even know if I've played Warlord at all since they added prestige challenges. I might, maybe I've played them like once or twice. You can see I'm account level 91. Most of those 91 account levels I got were before they added prestige challenges. Or when the game first came out. Bring me forth into the realm of the living. I think I took a break from this game when I was level... Um, I want to say maybe like 78. And then I didn't really play it at all. I quit... I stopped playing a little before Castle Kandar came out. I got my Platinum for both the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 versions. And then I actually continued to play it a little bit after I got the Platinum, which I usually don't do with games. Usually once I Platinum them, I'm going to the next one. And But I liked this game so much that I played it a little bit after the Platinum. And then, like I said, I stopped a little before Castle Kandar came out. And then I didn't come back until a little before Bill came out. So... 
I don't know if I've played any matches with Necromancer since they added prestige challenges. We'll we'll see when this is over. We'll see what my prestige challenges say that I got done. And what kind of um progress I got on them already. Man, Necromancer was so fun when this when this game first came out. I would well like I said, I our first main to Necro or I'm Warlord, I mean. But then when I switched over to Necro, I got so much hate mail. Oh, playing the most OP demon. And that was... I thought the most OP demon when the game first released was Puppeteer. Because they could spam... They could spam the uh, Lightning Strike ability. You would start casting the Lightning Strike and then dodge. And then you could do it again real soon. Hey, what's up, Vigilant Crow? How's it going? Alright, Necromancer, man. I, I haven't played Necromancer in so long. Should I... Should I trap the objectives? That way, when they get here... They're already running into traps, and I can just try to overrun them with an army? Or do I go try to find them like pretty much every other demon? I honestly have never, I mean, I haven't played Necro in so damn long. I don't think Necro has very good early game pressure. So I don't know if finding them early would benefit me. But I guess I can go trap some things around here. Let's see if maybe this house, this house usually has a chest or two. I hear one. Is it upstairs? Yep. And then... Just slap one out here. It's for shits and giggles. And then I'll go trap the tunnel. The tunnel is usually a pretty good place to trap. You usually got quite a few chests and stuff. Okay, they got the first map piece. The humans must not obtain a single piece of the map. And now they have. Their fear is pretty low, except for Ruby. Ruby's fear is kind of high. She might be off on her own, collecting the map pieces. Wow, okay. The map is a step closer to completion. This was not the plan. Try dismemberment. Sometimes there's a chest out here by the tree. No, not this time. Survivors can still only see where one map piece at a time is at. Is at right? I haven't played Survivor in a, in a while either. I think I played like one or two Survivor games a little before they released Bill, but I don't. You can only see where the one map piece is, right? So they just got lucky and that other map piece happened to be by wherever, I guess wherever they spawned. I guess Ruby went out and collected the first map piece, then the second map piece turned out to be wherever they spawned at. And so that's why they had two already like that so fast. Spawn that just to get some energy down. Like I said, I'm so rusty with Necromancer. I don't even know if I'm playing him the way I should be playing. Okay, so they're down there. I wonder if maybe I should just go to the pages and trap. Start trapping. Oh, uh, they've already... How in the world? What? I am so confused. Why are my traps not going on? Huh. 
That is interesting. I guess I should just spawn in ASICs and not try to make it a proximity portal. It'd be nice if I could find a unit just on the map somewhere to possess. There's one. Uh, he popped his. He popped his ability. Well, at least I was able to hurt him a little bit. He is the one getting the map pieces. I thought maybe the Ruby was getting the map pieces. So if it wasn't for this guy, who knows how many map pieces they would have had. Just the one? Level up my basics so spawn an extra extra unit. I don't know if mess with this guy is the right move, even though he's all by himself. He's probably gonna pop his ability again. This never gets old. <laughs> Yep. Sure enough. That's why going after Henry is annoying as crap. But, I mean, I'm hurting him. That's sort of. I didn't know if that was going to get him or not. Take heed, wretches. This life will be your undoing. I don't know. Possess him again. Join us or die. Possessing him, you know, makes him lose health. The longer you have them in possession, so at least it's hurting him. And I wasted all his ammo, even though, you know, hunters don't really, or warriors don't really do that good of melee or ranged damage, anyways. But I don't really know how to flip cars and stuff. So, I was kind of close there. Eh. So, I'm going to go see if there's a car by the uh, cabin, which there usually is. His teammates must be looting like crazy. So I thought maybe they'd be going after the um, pages of the daggers, but no. There's one of them. <laughs> I don't know if putting them with his team's a good idea. Because, you know, now 
he has someone to knock him out of possession. Well, at least now I can spawn three basic units. Trap that. some energy. This person will be possessed now. Up on the tree. Where are the other two people at? This is this is kind of a weird game, but I guess it's not typical solo queue. Everyone kind of just doing their own thing. I mean, if I was Bill, I would be. This is a wet dream for Bill. I'm surprised I was able to get it flipped over there. Because everyone being by themselves, yeah, this would be a wet dream match for Bill. I would have had that. You have allowed them Finally. to locate the Kandarian dagger. End them before they take it. I would have had that Henry killed. I would have had that Ruby killed. Being all them being by themselves. If I was Bill. I'm kind of far away from the daggers, though. Oh, they're split capping me? They're split capping me, really? That's not cool. Dang, that hurt to pop a lot. Uh, I get back here, Pablo. Get back here, Pablo, you bastard. What in the hell? Dang it. How many freaking Shola's Colas do you got, buddy? He just gave up. <laughs> but. Oh, he disconnected and everything. Wow, okay. That's kind of odd because if these people would have finished pages, which they're probably going to because I am too freaking far away, they're going to automatically revive. Did that ruby die to AI? Because I'm not down here. <laughs> I don't know what to do here about this. I 
Uh, I might have this as a win. It depends if the page is... Oh, he, he did his freaking power, so... Nothing I can really do. Of course, he has a million colas, because, you know... He looted all match. I did not mean to do that. Dang it! That's I mean, that's they were split, Captain. Me, not much I could do there. I mean, this is probably still a win because that Pablo disconnected for some odd reason. And this Ruby, even though she's Prestige 4, is it that what that says? Prestige 4 is that Prestige 1? Well, whatever Prestige she is, she's higher Prestige than I am. I don't have any character Prestige. She's dying from uh, AI, so I don't know. This is kind of a weird match. Oh, your phone's gonna cut out. All right. Thanks for stopping by, Sleepster. Have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Honestly, that guy must not be a very high level because that. I mean, he kind of died kind of fast. Kill my, kill my flutist. Oh no! Just trust in the power of light. Okay, I was gonna demon dash there, but that was kind of weird. Well, she knows to go after the flutist. She, I thought she was closer than she was. Thought honestly. And the Henry's back to looting. This Henry has a hard on for looting. I mean, I know he's down a man, so I guess he thinks gotta loot, loot, loot. Did he go past my? What the? F Why are my proximity portals not working on him? Oh, I thought he went upstairs. <laughs> it's like, how the hell? Oh, he gave up. Jeez, look at how many freaking... Look how many uh, armor things he had. I'll just put it down here since he's giving up anyways. That'll kill him faster. Come on, units. See, this is why AI is kind of useless in this game. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> you gotta do everything yourself. 
All right, well, I won all my games. I honestly did not think I would. Honestly, though, the reason I won that is because someone disconnected. Our time has come. Humankind will drown in the blood of darkness for eternity. See, looking at me. Oh, wow. I've won 11 of 33 matches. I guess I've played Necro more than I thought since they added prestige challenges. Because I know that's not... They weren't radioactive. Because I would have a lot more than 30, 11 wins. Because I played Necro a lot. And then Warlord, I would have had a lot more than 4 wins. I would have already had the whole 33 for sure of Warlord. So, I... Wow. I'm misremembering. I played Warlord way more than I thought I did. When they added prestige challenges. But I mean, I'm not super... I, I guess I played Warlord less, because Warlord, Warlord only had 4 of 33 matches won. And that one at least I had, what, that's say 11? 11 of 33? Hmm. How about that? Alright, so I played a... I played Puppeteer all day yesterday. Then I played a Bill today, I played a Warlord, Warlord match today. And I played a Necro match today. Out of all those matches... I'd probably say I had most fun with with Bill. I know survivors like to complain that he's pretty powerful, which he is. He's a he is a solo queue stomper for sure, especially if people go out on their own like much most solo queue people do. But I mean, he's pretty weak on the book phase. I guess I kind of had fun with Warlord, but <laughs> I was surprised I won at the book phase. Uh, let's see. Do I want to do one more? Uh, I don't know if I have time for one more, quite honestly. I didn't do a Plague Bringer because, honestly, I I am not familiar with Plague Bringer at all. I've played like six matches with her, and I've won twice, I do believe. Let's see. Prestige challenges should tell me. Yeah, I've won twice. I just... I'm not really too sure... Like, I thought I was playing her pretty good until I ran in... I might have ran into a four squad, and I, they made me look like a joke. Like, I thought I would have had a better chance playing Puppeteer. So, I, just, I, guess, I guess I just don't know how to really play her that well. Or my build sucks, one of the two. I might need to look up a better build. But, eh, not bad, considering that I am not prestiged on anything. No survivors, as you see. No demons are prestiged. Then, uh, I've... I honestly did not expect to win all my games t tonight. I only played, what, three games, but still I did not expect to win those three games. I actually expect to lose at least one of them. But, huh, how about that? Alright, well, sadly... Looks like I have to cut it off stream. If you're lurking, I'd really appreciate a follow. I will be playing some more Evil Dead. I don't know if I'll be on tomorrow, but probably Wednesday for sure. Wednesday, Thursday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturdays are usually the days I'm on. Are the best days to catch me anyways. So, I might be on tomorrow. might not be. Cheers, got a snipe. Thanks for stopping by. Always appreciate it. And, yeah, I had fun. Like I said, I did not expect to win all my matches tonight. So, I'll probably play some more Bill. Because that was actually kind of fun. But, thanks for stopping by, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful day.